Hey Max. Hi. So, okay. um, quite a season for yourself. How are you finding it? Being involved in the senior team and playing at championship level. Yeah, it's really good. Um, obviously, I thought I might have been on loan at the beginning of the year, but um, things have happened and I've been involved. So now it's good to be finally playing some games as well, which is nice. Amazing game at the weekend against Aston Villa. Some nine saves, I think, in total. Any of those in particular your your best one? Uh, it's hard to say your favourite save or whatever. Um, I haven't actually watched too much of it back. Um, and probably the one of the early ones to keep it nil nil was probably be one of my favourites. Yeah. Some amazing <laughs> stops from uh, Conor Burhan at times. Uh, some cat like re- reflexes, I think, almost uh, to keep those to keep those out. How how have you got reflexes as, as sharp as that? Do you have to do any specific training or anything um, to work on those kind of like instant saves from close range? Um, we don't do too much specific sort of training like that. We do a lot of um, game specific training based on what the uh, the opposition's like. So we'll watch the video and um, Colsey, the goalkeeper coach, come up with a plan and set a session up based around what uh, they're about. So um, a lot of it's to do with the opposition um, and obviously what you're going to come up against in the game. Yeah, I was going to ask you about Colsey and. Obviously, he's got that book on goalkeeping. Has he um, ever made you read that one? <laughs> no, I haven't read it. He's got a few videos out as well, which he's uh, he's sent me clips of, which uh, uh, a while ago now. But um, yeah, no, he's a he's a great coach, and he's really helped me develop over the last few years. Uh, whether that's being out on loan and coming back and training here at, uh, in Bristol, um, but no, he's a he's a big influence in what I do. Uh, both on and off the pitch at the moment. And obviously EFL team of the week this week, but I believe you were in as well after the Brentford game earlier this season as well, so that's not too bad. Two appearances in, what, 10 league appearances this season or something? Yeah, no, obviously it, it is nice, but uh, it doesn't take away the fact that we uh, didn't come away with a, a point or three. Um, but yeah, on a personal note, obviously it's nice. Just wanted to ask you about your path to the first team then. So obviously obviously you've come through the academy here. Um I, I watched you a bit actually when you were down at Bath City as well and um I was gonna ask you about your time at Kidderminster Harriers as well. Um yeah. which has maybe been the most formative um experience for you, maybe down at Kidderminster, Bath or even Solihull with um Tim Flowers? I only played a few games really at uh, Kidderminster, I think it was five or six in the end I ended up having to come and cover Frankie uh, towards the end of the year. Um but Bath was a great experience for me. It's my first proper full stint at uh, men's football. I played uh, 40 odd games, so that was great to get that full season um, under my belt almost, um, which uh, is what you need, I guess. When you're younger, you need to just play games. So Was that with Gary? Yeah, that was with Gary, I was, yeah. So went there a um, couple of games into the season and then played throughout, so... No, it was, a, it was a good experience. I remember, I think you had an amazing record of saving penalties or something while you were there as well. Was that <laughs> right? Saved a few, yeah. But um, not not too many, just a couple. And what about under Tim Flowers at Solihull? I'm, I'm a bit older, I think, than these guys, and they might not remember Tim Flowers as being a, a brilliant goalkeeper in the Premier League, but, but he's some guy to learn from, I would guess, as well. Yeah, he was doing, obviously, a lot of the... Uh, Outfield players um, coaching. He was assistant coach at the time. Mark uh, Mark Yates in charge, um, but he did take he did take training and stuff with us um, a bit, which was nice. No, he was a great person to draw experience from, and obviously you know he's been there and done it. Um, so to get his opinion or advice was um, second to none for me, really. And did, didn't he text you or something before the Brentford game? Is that right? To offer you. Good luck or something. Yeah, no, he did text me, yeah. Um, Gary did as well, Gary Owens, so it was nice for those two to, to give me a text. Nice one. And just on uh, your current head coach, then, Lee Johnson, when I sort of mentioned him about goalkeepers, he sort of said that he's looking for a spiritual leader as a goalkeeper. Has he mentioned Adriano Basso and the likes of that to you at all? Uh, he, sp- he spoke to me about being a leader and um, stepping into that uh, more of a leader role. Um, which is obviously what you want from starting from the back and bringing it all the way through. But no, no mention of, not as much mention of Basso to me. He has he has said it before, but um, yeah, it's it's something that I want to try and improve and uh, bring to bring to my game. 
Do you have any goalkeeping idols yourself that you look up to or that you'd like to emulate at all? Um, not not the current current time, but like when I was growing up, obviously you had the likes of Petr Cech was in the uh, at the top of his game. Um, people like Pepe Reina, even like Barthez. I was uh, a Man United fan when I was younger, so he was one of those. He was a bit of a he was a bit different to everyone else and did stuff which you didn't really see. Um, but that sort of era was my. Uh, goalkeepers that I grew up with, um, the pair of checks, um, Rainer and people like that. So yeah. those, those are two. Just uh, finally, there's there's a quite a good competition, I guess, there at the moment, obviously with Nicky and, and Frank when they're fit and yourself. Yeah, no, it's uh, it was, it's always competitive in a goalkeeping environment. You work with each other every day for, um, in quite an isolated sort of area. So it is good to have competition. It's healthy for every. Um, position really uh, I've grown grown up with Jojo in the same age group uh, for the last since we were probably 14 so I've always had that rivalry with him that competition but we're good mates and we get on really well so it's healthy to have that competition and it makes you want to get better great stuff and good luck for Friday cheers thank you Dan. hi Max hi, you um, just wanted to ask you there's rumours today that you're going to be nominated for the Ballon d'Or at the end of the year <laughs> aside from those amazing personal uh, achievements, uh, is the main aim for you now, for next season, staking your claim to be that number one position? Of course, I want to I wanna play for this football club. I want to play as many games as I can. But at the moment, I'm just focused on doing what I do every week, weekend, weekday, whatever it is, um, in those games. And we've got five games remaining now um, until the end of the season. So that's just my main goal is trying to help the team yeah as you say five games to go I think there's about three teams going for one possibly fifth but more likely sixth in the in the championship um, how are you guys dealing with that pressure with just like you say five games to go there's not too much pressure really I don't think on us we've um, we've got ourselves into a great position and the least we can do is just go for it so we're everyone's level headed like there's not too much talk about it really we're just trying to win every game you go into every game trying to win it and whatever happens happens and just finally I know we briefly mentioned David Coles there I just want to go back to him as well and sort of the, the techniques that he's teaching you he's a, he's a great coach isn't he and he's developed three fantastic goalkeepers for City this season yeah no he's uh, I've, I've had him now for a few years so obviously I get on really well with him and have taken a lot from him um, being my coach there's a uh, we're all different in the in the way that we work. I work differently to Frank. Frank works differently to Nicky, and we're all good in our own different ways. So um, he does that really well. He can pick out and see what people need for each situation. So um, it is a uh, it's obviously tricky. You've got three diff completely different goalkeepers, but he uh, he manages us really well and coaches us well.